So I tweeted something. This time I said, I want to do an FM video comparing two players and picking who is better from their position and role. Hit me up with two players that you cannot decide between. Two players that you need to pick one or the other in order to continue with your life because you're stuck. You know, you can't make dinner until you make that FM decision and you're starving because you've been staring at that decision for four hours. Now I was going to do this alone, but then a wild Ben appeared. Hi, Rom. Good to see you again. Hope you're well. Uh, thanks for saving Thames, I don't know if I've mentioned that before, mate. Great job. Really great job. Thank you so much. And here we have a wild Dr. Bingy in his natural habitat. Oh, he's doing the English accent again. Viewers, I don't, I don't request it, and neither do you. But he does it all the time, doesn't he? In all the video. Every video you do a little bit of this. Why? And he's talking endlessly, just as oh, he does to impress his mates in the wild. Oh, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. He's doing the English thing again. Oh. We'll see you next time on Planet Football Manager. <laughs> Who's on that planet? Okay, let's rate some players. First, we have, I don't know, we just got to scroll. Boom, scrolling, scrolling. So, inverted wingback on the left. You a big inverted wingback guy? Divock Origi's one of the options. So we're just going to, uh, inverted wingback on the left. Is he really, there's no way, right? What a mad lad. Oh, does it not mean inverted winger? He, he, he has to, because the other guy's Nikola Vlasic, who's also a winger. So it's definitely, oh my God. Oh, I'm going to take a lap. I, he, I'm, he didn't mess up. I did. I missed. I'm going to yeah. go get it. Okay. Ben, you take care of this one. I need to reset. No problem. So it means inverted winger. We've got Divock Origi on one side. We've got Nikola Vlasic on the other side. Uh, which one would you choose? If you was, of course, at home, you make your own decisions as well as me and... Well, it was going to be Z, but he doesn't know the difference between wing backs and wingers. So we'll, I'll wait for him. We'll just, we'll, then we'll do it together. Just keep going. Okay. We'll continue. So I think, logically speaking, you're looking for certain things. You're looking for dribbling ability. You're looking for a, a good, maybe, maybe a decent passing range, decent flair, the ability to beat a man, as well as decent agility and acceleration. And as you can see, there's a reason these two players have been sent our way because they are quite difficult to choose between. Now, he's obviously quite deep into his save because Divock Origi's 29 at this point. Um, I don't know if he's got either of them. I, I guess Origi's at his team. They're both at his team. So he's basically choosing between the two, hence the comparison. Um, it's, it's tough because... They are very evenly matched. I think if you're going to go for one, th th I love the decision making on Vlasic. I think that that probably edges it for me when you get into the final third. The ability to pick out the pass. He's got slightly better passing as well. Slightly better agility. Even though he's slightly slower, maybe in pace. Everything else to me is very, very strong. So I'll go Vlasic for this one. Although Origi, it's a very, it's a very close second. He does have the finishing ability, but again, I think as a creative player, cutting in, maybe sliding through balls to advance forwards. That's where I'd go. So we'll go for this one. Flustich, and I'd like to welcome back Zeeland Shannon. I'm going Origi, and here's why. I, that was that was that was that was well said. Interesting take. I just needed to pick up some more Lacroix. Not sponsored this video at all, right? That's how you say. Okay. So you say that. I'm going Origi because I feel like decision making on a on outside players is less important, and so I'll take the speed advantage, the work rate advantage, and the first touch advantage to bring the ball in with a fullback in front of you, and then just be able to go at him a little more with a, a bit more determination, not obviously actual determination, but like determination to run more with the work rate mm. and a bit more giddy up. These players are very close though. Like yeah. this, this I would is... take it, I would take it into account, Z, the, the like roles that they've got in the squad because Vlasic is an important player. Origi's a regular starter, he's a little bit older. Does that matter? Or are we just doing it based on attributes? Just just line up the attributes, line them up and knock them down. And I, I would go <sighs> okay. Divock Origi, but it's just the way I use my inverted wingers. I'm using them to be wide and run at people and then cut in and play a ball or shoot. I mean, that's, well, that's what they're there to do. They're not playing in a super slow paced system where they're going to get dragged into the middle and then have to make those decisions and, and pick out passes, right? At least that's for yeah. me. This is basically a use question. Yeah, I, yeah, I prefer mine to be a little bit more creative. So I think if you're playing, if you're playing like counter-attacking, I think Origi's probably your guy. If you're playing a bit more of a control possession style, I think Vlasic is probably your guy. So the inverted wing backs on the left, you heard it here first, or wingers, you know, either or. <laughs> Great work, by the way. Great start. <laughs> Next we have uh, Felix, FD. Both are brilliant. My problem in quotes, is that from the attributes, I would say Jimenez is better, but Castaneda always seems to perform better. They are both mostly used as an inside forward on the left, but occasionally as a winger on the right. So we'll just do this as inside forward off the left. So he says, 
Andres Castaneda performs better, but Jimenez looks better. Do you agree with, with this? I haven't really had a chance to look at it yet. Do you know what? It's not too dissimilar from the Origi conversation, right? You've got one who's a bit more of a finisher, who's a little bit more lethal in that sense. Again, this is a great comparison because they're really even. Obviously, you've got a little bit more, maybe final thirds play on one side. Although then again, oh, it's difficult. I think he's right. Like Jimenez on paper looks way better. But Castanda, how do you say it? Castan, Castaneda? Castaneda. Uh, Castaneda. That's obviously how you say it. See, your thing is you're from that part of the world, you know. So, of course, you're going to get the pronunciation spot, whereas I'm guessing. Um, Florida! Yeah! I think he's right. The guy on the right definitely looks better of the two. Um, he's got Castaneda on massive wages, though, at such a young age. Okay, Again, we don't care about that, but I don't know. On paper, you go for the guy on the right. You go for Jimenez. Can we play them in, in different positions? I feel like Eric Jimenez is just a center forward. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah I agree. And Castaneda, I mean, honestly, Eric Jimenez, just he's a bit more well-rounded and he's got that center forward game. The 18 agility is, is speaking to me because mm. that is a really significant... A lot of people have 15 agility. Not a lot of people have 18 agility. That's an abrupt change of direction that you are able to create when when dribbling now he's not as good of a dribbler as Jimenez and I would agree that Jimenez probably has more current ability but I think they're close enough to if you have an obvious like look when I play Castaneda out here he's better like much better average rating throughout the course of a season they both had a pretty similar sampling size there are hidden attributes here that we can't see and there's the gap certainly isn't large enough for me especially with finishing is such a funny attribute you never you know you're never sure how much it matters sometimes you feel like it doesn't matter at all sometimes you feel like it's the difference between life and death uh, if these guys are close enough to me outside of that just raw natural goal scoring ability that castaneda is playing better then just play him i mean honestly jimenez is better with current ability but that's not everything yeah if he's, if he's playing on the left as a winger like you look at Castaneda's like crossing and dribbling, like, like as a combination, they're pretty good. The cro like, having two better crossing, is that enough? I don't know really, it's, it's pretty close. Like I think you could probably play them both. I like you could probably, I think him and as we talked about it, right? You could play him as an advanced forward. He's pretty, he could even do an okay job as a pressing forward. Probably not, lacks the aggression and work rate. But again, everything else is there. Like he's got such good raw speed. You'd probably want to play them both. I'd like, I'd love to know who he's got up front that these guys, or especially yeah. him as doesn't play up front. Maybe a shadow striker. Jimenez is actually a very good yeah. passer in his decision making. Is That's this, it, right? He, yeah. he can play in the middle. Like Castaneda complete forwards? can't. Yeah, no, complete. I was saying complete forward. He could definitely do it. Yeah. So we've settled it. Play them both. What an answer from the two <laughs> geniuses. <laughs> Let's get yeah, compare the players. We'll pick both of them. We think they're both yeah. great. But if I, if I, okay, I settled Castaneda. If they're both, if he's just playing better all the time, then just play Castaneda. He's good enough yeah. to win Champions Leagues if he's in form. Okay, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Here we go. Advanced playmaker on attack. Ooh, it's a 10, not an wow. 8. Thank you for the... These guys are... These guys are... Uh, Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bartusiak used to play as a Metsala and support in a pivot before improved talent. My midfields forced me to choose between him and Philip Strauss. So we Rudolf Bartusiak was playing as a Metsala. These are just this is at the point in the game where you just have the best players in the world on your team. Always. Yeah, uh, they've used your face pack as well. So you know, <laughs> give them give give this man major props. Um yeah they're both absolutely brilliant i don't i don't think if you play one of them they're going to be intrinsically better than the other one like they're both worth the exact same amount of money they're quite similar ages i, I guess it depends if you're planning for the future or not if you are then you probably go with strauss and you let him be the guy that 20 off the ball is pretty scary but there's so little between them like I, I, neither is a bad option which one, which one do you pick though? Is the jumping reach that much of a, a factor for you? Yeah, I think physically this is almost a push. I would go to Bartusia. For me, having a central midfielder with good jumping reach is something I've been able to weaponize in FM21. I don't, I have a, I have a center midfielder with 19 jumping reach and he scores so many goals for me. With that late arriving run that FM allows now out of the midfield, he just yeah. shows up, pops up in the box and some poor short guy is trying to mark him. Bartusiak is elite as an athlete. Not only can he run by you, you literally can't. He, he changes direction as well as anybody in the world with the balance and agility that he has. He can he, he can yeah. keep he can keep anybody in front of him. And I think very importantly that change of direction, the agility, balance stuff. 
to create separation to like make a pass and play a ball that's huge this is painful these guys are so good i think it, it might come down to the role that like he plays in your team rudolph which is a great first name for any 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 man has got great leadership and quite good free kick taking like if he's your free kick taker if he's your captain for example with 18 leadership like he, he may well be then if you take him out you might be losing more than you realize for sort of those intangibles that you can't see behind this player profile screen like, i would go with him purely because of that like i suspect he's probably a major player as part of that side but man you, you're set for the future once he disappears like <laughs> goodness me yeah if this is not a double pivot i think it's rudolph too Oh, would because, you play both? No, well, because could I, you play both? No, well, apparently, I mean, he said that Rudolph was playing in a double pivot, but then they got too many good midfielders, and now he has to make a decision between these. If this is an advanced playmaker on attack as a ten, so this is you know like a four-two-three-one, somebody sitting behind the striker. De yeah, defense, tricky, def it? defense doesn't matter. And Strauss has invested. He's Strauss is better at defense. Yeah, it's it's crazy how good they. I mean, yeah, but only just right. Like you don't. You never pick him for his defensive qualities. <laughs> That's the thing. It's such a close fought thing. But I don't know. I mean, you've got the work rate on Rudolph's side. No, that I'm saying his first name, not his surname. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and then, but then you're right, the balance and the agility, that as a combination is so strong with the pace as well. Like, oh man. I don't know. It's so, I, I this is one for the, this is one for the, the viewers, right? I, I cannot choose between them, but I have to. So I'll go Rudolph. I'm going Rudolph he's too. got a cool. I think Got it's a cool name. Yeah, but Philip is the dude that I'm probably bringing off the bench in every game. A shadow yeah, striker, absolutely. a shadow striker with 20 off the ball, is a dream. You've still got time to improve Strauss's finishing because he's 23, whereas you might not have the same sort of privilege with Rudolph because he's that bit older. I don't right. know. Maybe that's a factor too. That could be a factor. And they're never going to be great goal scorers, but then again, well, some world class forwards won't get higher than 14 or 15 finishing. These guys are amazing. True. True. Scrolling. Okay, next, and I'm picking this one just because it looks weird. Like this decision <laughs> should be obvious. All right. Okay. okay. So what are, what are we looking at? Second debate is between these two who are battling it out to be my second choice advanced forward. Says Harry Waterman. Would you appreciate? About we, about at... we all go through Z. I think you can agree that that second choice. We're always contemplating that second choice striker. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> we've been there. You know. <laughs> Give me here's here's my question to you. Matias Arezzo obviously looks better right now. Give me the reason you would pick Edward over him. I mean, the fact he's nineteen is is the is the only thing. But Arezzo so like Arezzo so young anyway. Like it doesn't really matter. I, I, this, I've got a thing where I love players to have great dribbling, finishing, and first touch with great physicals. The, the, it's like the mentals at that point don't even matter. So the fact he's got that eighteen dribbling as a striker. I think it's it's so cool on this year's game. I think last year and this year, if you've got a striker with that that kind of dribbling, they, their ability to just drive forward with the ball and score is freakish. arezo has got 15. It's not like it's bad. I will say is that Arezzo, a lot of his attributes, if you want a center forward, aren't useful. Corners, yeah. who cares? Free kick taking, eh, he's not your kick taker. Long shots is an advanced forward, eh. Long throws, incredibly important, but not enough to tip the scales here marking tackling Arezzo's like a freaking center midfielder right here but the way his attributes have developed in a tunis looks like an advanced forward yeah if you if you boil it down to the pure attributes required to be an advanced forward it's a lot closer than it first looks right because there's a lot more green sided towards Arezzo. it's absolutely true well how much value do you put on something like concentration for an advanced forward because you got a huge advantage for Arezzo there and like aggression and bravery i don't care for it that much i don't i, I don't it's not like a I, I won't sign him if his concentration's really low I mean, i'm far more worried about concentration when it comes to defenders whereas this guy's an advanced forward like i'm way i'm way more worried, uh, bothered about his uh his off the ball and probably it's just it's just his pace generally like his acceleration for me and again that dribbling stat for me is so crucial and i feel like the difference between 15 and 18 dribbling is actually quite high in fm that this is I have to talk about this in a video that's about to come out soon, but like before this video comes out, so you will have already seen it if you're watching this, where Definitely. there is a huge difference between people that have like 15, even 16 at something, and like 18, 19. Yeah. Because there are just, there are a lot of guys, I mean, we've seen it already, with 15, 16 pace. When you get one of those wingers that's got 19, then it's like, 
Okay. There just aren't that many people that are as fast as that guy in the world. Like, he can run by basically everybody. And so when you talk about 18 dribbling, it's like, well, okay, Edouard and Tunis is going to be able to run where he wants to with the ball against the vast majority of people that he comes up against. Yeah, the difference between like 11 and 14 feels way closer than the difference between 16 and 19, right? That's That, that seems to be a thing, whereas logically it shouldn't be but the difference is so especially at the elite level right if you're a west ham manager in 2024 you're probably battling for champions league places i would say at that point especially if you're able to attract guys like Antunes, like i reckon you probably are he's definitely one for the future i think you start a razor in every game and then much like the, one of the ones we've had previously like then you bring this guy on later in games because he's going to turn and burn most defenses you know what is fun though and i just play a rezo as a pressing forward because yeah, he, can, he can actually take the ball from people not only is he brave and aggressive and will actually he will throw himself into those challenges he has the technical tackling ability that most center backs never have to deal with like he's probably yeah. going to get three four maybe even five goals a season just from picking somebody's pocket charging them down i agree with that so that's fine I'm, I'm going a rezo but i will say it is closer and i understand the submission now when you look at where the attributes are for a rezo that are spiked but he's just more he's more of a complete forward if you want to be in the champions league spots i feel like you need someone like a rezo that can threaten in the air i, I would agree right but this is still a second choice player i think as a second choice player you, you go with the more complete but it's not a bad third choice <laughs> like, no, still, he's still no, doing, okay. no no <laughs> well especially this antunas guy's probably got higher potential than arezzo because arezzo's yeah. potential is kind of capped in the 160s somewhere depending on yeah. what the the role is next okay ladies and gentlemen we uh this hair is just too good to turn down this is uh, yasin oddly there we go so it's it a, good. a guy named sandry and a guy named yasin oddly oh it's it's not in english Lost baller YouTube, I really wish we could do this, but I, I don't think that we'll be able to. The problem we've got is that they do the attributes in, alf in alphabetical order. Yeah. For every, for, but, and that, that applies to every nation. So if they're different in a different, different language, this is difficult. Based on the, how many blues there are in the technicals, I'll go with the I'll go with the man with the lovely hair. Yeah, Yasin Adli it gets the win for the hair. Next, <laughs> Champions League winning save, but who do I play uh, as a Trek Artista? Ooh. Uh, coming off the so a right wing trek wartista help me zealand i beg if you will you get zealand in then congratulations well, Zach i can only apologize you didn't you didn't want me <laughs> um i, I would pro oh, straight off the oh, bat wow, these guys are good <laughs> jeez and crackers man i just started to look at the attributes. yeah i'm i'm a such a sucker for the dribbling attribute that Reyes has got me already. Like, he's got the acceleration, he's got the dribbling. It's interesting this guy's got lower uh, attribute colors, so his 14s are the higher attribute threshold. I hate that. Which is not always the case. Um, it was something worth pointing out, I, I would imagine. So you probably go for Reyes. I mean, it, again, it's really close. Once again, he's using the, the Zealand face pack. So if you want to get that, there's a link in the description. Find out more, right? Is there? I don't think we have well, a link in the be. description. All right. Oh, for God's come on. I'll put, I can on. put it in for this video, though. It'll be <laughs> yeah, there now. Just, just below mine. Um, just, passing. Just, is... Yeah, just just below Ben's stuff. Let's pick this first here. <laughs> just below I Ben's side. Uh, for... Yeah, 100,000. What's happening? We'll, just, we'll, get, we'll get to that. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd go I'd go Reyes, but it's very, very, very close. It's interesting that the other guy is so good and, and only worth 9 million because his contract's about to run out that summer so get him on a new contract yeah what do you do you, you gotta sign this guy or this decision's not gonna matter <laughs> runs out his contract in four <laughs> months. Uh, i'm going alarte because of what position we're playing right it's trek wartista and alarte is one of those like alarte is a savant right he is the beautiful mind of finding the pass there i have a love affair with people that have 20 vision and andres okay. alarte has he has 20 vision he's got balance <laughs> you can't push him off the ball he's got 20 vision he's got 19 passing he's a trek wartista man he floats around he does nothing but look to find space to get himself onto the ball and then be an aggressive playmaker that's that's just what he's trying to do now out wide i could understand the argument for dribbling and just being a better athlete because that's what martin reyes is but Alarte is a gifted playmaker. He's got quite good strength for someone that's five foot four as well. He does oh, that very often. Both of them. I, the other guy's five yeah. seven. 
I, sus I suspect that the problem he's got with this player, and I know we're not, we're not supposed to talk about this, but I'm going to, that he bought in when he was like 18, 17, 18 for like 3 million. And now, the last day, he's on 53 grand and now wants 250k. Yeah. So he's trying to conclude whether he actually <laughs> wants to keep him around. Because he's so good. You're right. That's what, He's got 20 vision, 20 technique, 19 passing. As a creator, I, I actually don't necessarily think I'd have him out wide. I can see why you would, but because he's not quite as quick, you could definitely put him more centrally. I don't know if you've trained him centrally. Like, I, I, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'd probably play him in the middle and then have Reyes as the Trek Batista on the right-hand side. How good is your team that you're choosing between these two people? <laughs> like, blimey. Yeah, he's he's like, had a good time. I, I haven't been coaching a team this good in a long time. That's for sure. The... Yeah, but I'd, yeah, I'd have this guy as a shadow striker or, or an advanced playmaker on attack, probably, and then have Reyes on the right. Yeah, the thing about Alarte is that advanced playmaker tells him not to shoot, and he's got 17 long shots, too, which means this guy's good for, like, four bangers a year. The... If he has a wing back that he loves, like if you have a wing back, Zach, that you love going down the the right, going around this Trek Artista, I think that could be really interesting. Like a wing mm. back on attack that's just going around the Trek Artista, and then all of a sudden you're overwhelming this side of the field. So Larte's going to look for balls to the inside, and then he can just go out to the fullback because they'll leave him to try and stop Alarte. Because you got it, you have to close Alarte down. He's he's a one man siege weapon. Yeah, we're, we're picking up between two players who don't really have a weakness. <laughs> it's, it's, they're so strong yeah, yeah. that you, yeah, you're going to do. You, there's a reason you're a Champions League winning save manager right now because that is outrageous. Yeah, I'm going. Alarte just because Trek Ratista, I think you're going to want somebody that can make plays like that. I'm going to go Reyes because I think he's got the ability to beat a man more often. And he's on the outside, so that makes sense. So what's this? Then what's this about a 100k plaque? I almost said chat. This is the stream. Hi. <laughs> Links to the streams down in the description, but so is uh, Ben's information, which by the time this comes out, he is actually probably going to be really close to 100,000 oh. subscribers, at which point Look. he will get a plaque that I'm assuming he will then get tattooed somewhere on his body and framed in gold plate and hung above his computer. And so if you yeah. could help, Ben provides us a lot of entertainment. Obviously he's on videos here all the time. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel down in the description. See if we can be the force that pushes him to the deserved 100,000. If I, I'll promise this, if I get it because of this video, I will put a similar plaque underneath that just says because of Zealand. <laughs> And I'll, I'll frame it beautifully on the wall. So if it happens, I mean, I'm 31 very soon, so it'd be a great birthday present. So you, know, you never know. But yeah, I, I, then you can have this over me forever. Your community can have this over me forever. We would um, enjoy that. I know. <laughs> so, so I wouldn't give this opportunity to someone uh, very often, but you've taken the football manager scene by storm, and I'm now going to try and ask for help. So, <laughs> so here I am. Here I am. Great footballers. Uh, you, you cannot make this up by the way and, and maybe this is a sign that we're going to be the people that have done this 29 minutes ago and i am not kidding i got an email from a youtube rep telling me to visit a particular website in order to redeem extra play buttons for my editorial staff so what? you know can i can i just be one of them like that that's well easier apparently just get on the zealand train and you know away we go next stop one mil <laughs> right next stop one mil i just thought it was funny i think it's a sign it's a, it's it's a sign that, that that this is it this is gonna push you to a hundred thousand subs right here well we'll we'll see i hope so thank look i love being a part of the stuff we do together uh if you don't listen to the podcast you should check that out 20 good minutes on mm -hmm. spotify there'll be a link in the description me and z talk about stuff we're back after a summer break so yeah go and give it a listen and uh, if you enjoy it let us know on twitter we are back and better than ever and we'll see you next time on whatever the heck we're doing. I don't know. Good luck with your players, by the way. Thank you. I was talking to them.